Hello, camera. <laughs> what up, internet? Uh, we just had one of the best lunches I think uh, I've ever had. This trip, for sure. Yeah. Not that this stiff competition. <laughs> We've mostly been eating out of convenience. <laughs> um, it was nice, warm soup both of us had with a different type of tempura and the warm, hot ocha. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Exactly what we needed when it's been really cold. Yeah. Some hot broth. <laughs> Now we're gonna walk to the temple, hopefully. We have enough stamina. And uh, that'll be it. Oh, look at that. Kappa, kappa, kappa. Cool. <laughs> Town might be a little bit kappa obsessed. There's a kappa warning sign. And over there is a kappa crossing the road. Well branded city. Kappa much? I like the sign with the cap on the bicycle behind me. Yeah. Look at the water. Beautiful. It is. I do love how things like this just pop up. Yeah. We were just walking down the street out of nowhere. Blammo. Yeah. Beautiful. With all that coming up, you can see there's a little shrine back there up in the hill. If you want to unlock some charms. I like that these horses have their little warm capes on. Yeah. Good thinking, whoever caped these horses. It's just like the beginning of Ghost of Tsushima where you pick your horse and then you name your horse and that <gasps> horse is with you for your whole adventure. Did you name your horse horse? Uh, I named my horse... horsey son. Oh, I forget. Is it Nobu? Bear. The bear sign. Yeah, but it's winter. Okay. They're probably hibernating. <laughs> Why aren't you hibernating then? I'm trying to. <laughs> what did you call your horse? Someone keeps waking me up. I want to say Nobu. Maybe I'm getting that wrong. I meant like trust or something like that. says, I don't know. That what? big sign says, Wealth Spring Temple. Dope. Let's get a closer look. Okay. Adventure awaits. Let's go up. Seems like there's only one set of footprints up. Wow. Yeah. Look at these little guys. Oh my goodness. This is magical. Holy crow. Wow. Dope stone lion. reminds me a lot of uh, the long walk we did in uh, Nagano, Nagano. Togokushi. That's so cool. Magic. 
Ginger call. Oh, awesome. These nice big trees. I like the snow. This crisp, crispy snow. Yeah. Glad we didn't say that's too far to walk. <laughs> Wasn't that far. No. It was just cold this morning, so everything felt kind of daunting. It's worth that, it. A half hour walk, I, I thought it felt like 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. But maybe the reality is somewhere in the middle. Where are the pipes? Over there. There's frozen water coming out of the pipes. They might be coming out of the frozen. Oh, I see. Yeah. So a nice mountain next to the... That's so cool. Wow, look behind us too, eh? Yeah. Japan's magical. <laughs> the joy. I think that one saw your hair when you took your toque off. <laughs> <laughs> Might be the reason for both of your expressions. Could you think there, you think? Or? No, no. Guess we'll find out. Deer prints. Yeah. Is this okay to go here? Well, so there be stairs. guys right there are deer tracks. I've been seeing a lot of those lately. Those are human tracks, but those are deer tracks. Oh 
I just love this guy's stinky expression. <sighs> like he's so pissed off at something. This guy too, it's kind of funny. <laughs> I was just down there filming her up take, looking like a absolute fool. Isn't he wonderful? <laughs> and that's wonderful too. On our way, I was gonna say home, but <laughs> to yeah, the, the place we are staying. Home is where you lay your head at. Uh, yeah, it started snowing, which is, uh, I don't know. It's beautiful. Did you say home is where you leave your head at? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't think that's what I said. I forgot what I said now. Where you rest your head? I, I don't know. Maybe I said oh, leave your head. Where you leave your head at? Where my head at? It's the home. Where's my head at home? With you right now. That's where I leave it. That's where I hang my head. Sorry. If you're hatless, you gotta hang something. It's snowing. Antano. It's all night. With Kappa. <laughs> Wonderland. Snow is so much nicer when it's not when you're at home when you have to shovel it. True. <laughs> and when it's light and fluffy and the wind isn't too insane. Yeah. Wind's the biggest winter contender yeah. for making you discomfortable. Wow. <laughs> uncomfortable. Did my pronunciation of that word make you uncomfortable? Those mountains are barely visible with all the snow. Oh yeah, can't see them at all. I'm not even sure you can see the snow on camera, but it's snowing pretty good. That's coming from a Canadian. <laughs> Big chunky fluffy guys, which is the best kind of snow. The car. How snowy am I? You're very snowy. <laughs> Looking at you makes me think that my tube is probably also a snow <laughs> factory. Not as much, I guess. No? Not that bad. Huh. The snow is really coming down out there. It's really beautiful. Everything's kind of freshly snowed on. <laughs> And we're over here having some tea. Yeah. I'm gonna help you with this accommodation. Yeah, me too. Thanks. Better be. It's three hundred dollars. <laughs> For two nights. We just went for an epic hike to a bunch of places down uh, not quite in the city. We went to a really cool shrine and we went to the um, Denshuin, like the place with all the traditional houses. And we went to the Kappa pool and then we marched back up here <laughs> in a snowstorm. And now to warm up, we're gonna go down to the onsen again. Um, yeah, I just wanted to show my giant outfit here. They think that I'm tall, so they gave me like the extra wide ladies outfit. I don't think you can see my pants, but uh, if you point it down a little bit, yeah, it's hammer time. Yeah, it's baggy down there. They might just fall around your ankles. <laughs> okay, I probably shouldn't wiggle. Anyway, so we're gonna go warm up.
later. We're reading some folk legends from this town that we're in currently. Yeah. So this fellow is a kappa. We've seen a lot of them around here. The real deal. There is a deep downstream pond called Gorobe on the Sawahi, Sawahi River in Hashino. Once there was a person in the house in front of the pond took a horse to, <laughs> to the water to cool it down. He left the horse alone briefly while he went home, and a kappa, a mischievous water spirit, tried to pull the horse into the pond, tying the horse's reins around its waist. But instead, the horse dragged the kappa back to its stable. In the stable, kappa had no place to hide except under the horse's feed bucket. When a servant got ready to feed the horse, he turned over the bucket and discovered the kappa. The kappa apologized for its misdeeds. It promised to stop its mischief if it were forgiven. It wrote a letter of apology before leaving. It is said the letter of apology is still in the landlord's house today. So this, this story is about the origin of the Oshira-sama, which is the shrine we visited with all of the um, colorful cloth um, what do you call them? Ima, I suppose? Ima? Um, for example, okay, so. The origin story in Tsukumushi village is as follows. The daughter of a wealthy farmer from Tenjuku married a horse. The father was so angered that he killed the horse and hung its hide on the branch of a pine tree. The daughter went under the tree and cried, longing for her lover. The horse's hide hanging on the tree branch heard her voice and flew down, wrapped itself around the girl, and they flew off to heaven together. Oshira-sama is the guardian of agriculture, horses, and silk production. The silkworm is historically thought to have the body of a woman and the head of a horse. Mulberry leaves are used in the silkworm production. Oshira-sama's robe, like a dress, is replaced with a bright new one on the 16th day of the Lunar New Year, which is actually in like 10 days' time from now. In its short, crude, mulberry stick body has either a round head, the head of a horse, or the head of a woman carved at one end. The horse head is thought to be the more common of the older style. It is important to understand the stories, origins, and shapes of this deity. The head of a male Oshirasama is usually carved in the shape of a horse. A female deity usually has long hair and two pointed animal like ears. Generally, the more recently the stick figure has been carved, the longer it is. Some figures are over 30 centimeters long. There are also many older and shorter ones. Ashura Sama with horse heads are usually shorter and smaller. So that's the shrine we went to with all the colorful um, Emma. It's interesting connections between the story of the horse and silkworms and deities. Yeah. And then also the girl, their horse. Yeah. Cool. Thank you.